We are going to have a bit of an experiment with precious metal clay. I have started by taking inspiration from this pebble. I discovered on the internet that they're called hagstones. I wanted to create something similar and I thought that precious metal clay was a really good medium to use to create these kinds of shapes. The hole in the hagstone is the important part. I've got a precious metals clay starter kit and it has everything that you need to start except you will also need a blowtorch and you will also need a brick and I have gone for the PMC Flex and the shrinkage for this is about 12%. This is how the PMC Flex comes. Really important to make sure that you keep your precious metal clay wrapped up because it will dry out quite quickly. Cling film or you've got a little bag, I would be putting it back in there. This is what it comes like. And you might want to put a little bit of balm on your fingers. Let's put it on the Teflon sheet here, look. I'm gonna wrap this up straight away. Right. I think creating a pebble shape or something similar, if you're new to precious metal clay, gives you the opportunity just to find out what it's like to work with. So it really, it literally is like clay. So I'm just rolling this and manipulating this clay. I've now made a bit of a pebble shape. These kind of cracks are what you would like to avoid. So just gently rubbing them away. And then you can obviously get some water and gently rub those in as well. I might do that at the end because I really wanna get a good hole shape in the middle. These are silicon tipped. You can use a paintbrush. The only thing I would say about using a paintbrush is that you might get brush marks in it and the clay tends not to stick to these silicone. And that's the real advantage of it. I'm gonna make a hole because my clay is a little bit big. I'm gonna use this one to start. I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm just taking away any excess clay. I've just dipped one of the silicon tools into a bit of water. And really, what you're looking for is it needs to be really smooth, unless, unless that's not what you want. Because essentially when you come to fire this, whatever surface you've left, it will stay exactly the same. When it's dry but not fired, it's much easier to get a really good surface on it at that point. And that's one of the beauties of precious metal clay is that you can manipulate it, you can change its shape. That's all pretty smooth. I'm not worrying too much about the surface as in it's got a bit wet, so when it dries, there might be some bits that kind of pull behind it, but I'm gonna gently put it on here. These are some precious metal clay pebbles that I made earlier, and now they have been drying for about 24 hours. When your precious metal clay is dry, now is the time to use your abrasive pads and you can also use the needle files as well. And I'm gonna put this one and just gently smooth out the inside. And then these abrasive pads, you're then gonna smooth the surface. And you're really at this point looking for any tiny little nicks and bumps and grooves because when you fire it, those bits, those textures, anything that is in the precious metal clay, it will still be there once you've fired it. If you're looking for a really smooth surface, it is at this point that you need to be working that precious metal clay, looking at the finish, looking at the surface in different lights as well, and just checking that it is as you want it. Because as soon as you fire it, 
it will become metal. But when it's clay, it's much easier to work that surface. We're gonna fire the precious metal clay. It is dry, it's been drying for 24 hours. I've gone over it with the abrasive pads and I have used the needle file. It's on a brick and I'm just going to use this blowtorch and we are gonna heat up the precious metal clay, it will have a small flame and that is the binder that is gonna burn off. So now I'm gonna put the flame over it. We're looking for it to go um, a cherry red color and I would say it is quite easy to melt. So I'm just putting the flame on and off. I don't want to melt it and it is quite easy to melt. You'll know when you've melted it because suddenly there'll be an area on the surface which kind of looks a bit shiny. It will. It might look a bit wet. You might get some sort of spots of silver and that's where it's just got a little bit too hot. And we're gonna keep it at this red for about three minutes. leave it to cool, do not touch it. It's really hot. So don't be touching it, don't be moving it with your fingers, use some tweezers or just leave it to cool. This is now fired and this is the metal brush. So you can see this is really white and this is the metal brush and we're gonna go over the surface and it brings out the silver. I'm gonna add a chain. So this is the pebble, it is completely hard, solid silver, and it is pure silver. So you can get this hallmarked. It would be hallmarked as fine silver. And this is a little snake chain. So we'll put it on a chain. And there we go. It's a little pebble. So that was a very first trial of precious metal clay. It's a really versatile product and a great way to get into jewelry making. Let us know what you've been making in the comments.